Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to install Ubuntu on a Raspberry Pi 4. I will also show you how to install Plex Media Server as well as how to configure your router for VPN access. For this tutorial I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, a 32GB SD card, a TP-Link router, an active VPN account as well as one hour of my time. So let's get busy. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get on Ubuntu.com. We will be going to downloads and look for Ubuntu for IoT. This tutorial is for Raspberry Pi 4. So we will be downloading Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi 4. I decided to download Ubuntu 64-bit just because I can. I know a lot of people are having problems with it, but being a risk taker, I said, what the hell? Once download is complete, we will check and make sure that our microSD card is formatted as FAT32. Next we will download Etcher. If you have Etcher already, skip this step. Once we have Etcher downloaded and installed, we will need to open it up and look for Ubuntu image that we downloaded. Double check and make sure you are flashing it to the right drive. In our case, it is a 32 GB SD card. Hit flush, sit back and relax. This process should take less than 5 minutes. Ok, now that the flushing is complete, remove the SD card and insert it in your Raspberry Pi and start your Raspberry Pi. The process can take up to one hour. If you get to a point where the system hangs up for more than five minutes, hit enter and wait. Every time you are being asked to log in, wait at least 30 seconds before you enter a username and password. Basically try not to interfere with the process as much as possible. When you get a prompt to restart the system, go ahead and enter reboot in your terminal. After reboot, you'll be prompted to log in again. Go ahead and log in. Next, you will need to install the desktop flavor. We're installing the full Ubuntu desktop. Be patient, this will take some time. Keep in mind that this video is fast forwarded and it does not replicate the actual install time. When the desktop installation is complete, you will be required to reboot. Before we do anything, we will need to do an update and upgrade, so let's do that. Now let's install Plex Media Server. We will be installing Plex Media Server and choose Ubuntu Distribution ARM version 8. Save the downloaded file to your downloads folder. Now 
Now here's where a little attention to details is important. We will need to rename the downloaded Plex file to simply say Plex.deb. We are doing this to make things easier during the installation. Now let's go back to our terminal. Go to Downloads folder and enter the command to install Plex. This should only take a few seconds. Now we need to exit the downloads folder and as always we need to update and upgrade. I attached an external hard drive to my Raspberry Pi and that is where the hard drive where my media is stored. I just need to check and make sure I can access it. Now let's see how Ubuntu sees it. To do that we need to issue a mount command. So my system sees it as dev slash sda2. This is important to know because it is what we need to enter in the fs tab. Simply follow the steps to properly mount your drive. I'm going to take a short break here and go make me some coffee. I'll be back here shortly. For detailed instructions on how to get started on Plex, please check my other video on installing Plex on a Raspberry Pi using Raspbian. This part is a bonus. If you plan on using VPN and you don't have one already, I highly recommend ExpressVPN. This video is not sponsored by ExpressVPN, but I just love how fast it is and the large number of servers that they have. Yes, it is a little bit pricier compared to other providers, but it is well worth it. And for the love of what you believe in, don't try to use some free VPN service. Keep in mind that if you don't pay for the product, you are the product. Alright, enough with the talking. For this part, I'm using a 2 year old TP-Link wireless router that supports VPN. Nowadays there are even more routers that support VPN. I kinda like configuring my router to use VPN. That way I know every connected device I want on VPN is covered. You can always turn it on and off. So, if you have an ExpressVPN account, here are the steps. Log into your account, click on router, and find your router in the drop down menu. Next, click on configure PPTP and L2TP.
copy the username, the password, and the server address. Now go to your wireless router configuration page. The default IP address of your router can be found in the back of your Wi-Fi router, or you can get it by entering the command IPR in your terminal. Just enter the configuration settings from your ExpressVPN account and you'll be up and running in no time. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or issues, let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to see more of these tutorials, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you.